we are launching yeah. Gilgil Phase 8, the Ranch Gilgil Phase 8. And this plot, they are 50 by 100 piece of plot. And uh, if you want to come here from Gilgil, it is just 15 kilometers to come to this plot. Exactly. And the reason as to why the place is called Nagum is because there is a school mm -hmm. uh, available, mm -hmm. uh, which is one of the social amenities that we really appreciate in this place. Mm -hmm. We have a water project undergoing. We have, mm -hmm. we have a borehole undergoing. We have hospital uh, nearby, uh, so this place is really, really growing. Mm -hmm. So, Mko Karibu Sana, so it is 50 by 100, going for Kenya shillings, 240,000 only. Yes, exactly. and of course you don't have to pay the entire amount, yeah. you just need 10,000 Kenya shillings only to start this journey of owning uh, the ranch Gilgil, garden in Gilgil. Uh, 10,000 Kenya shillings deposit, and then you can clear the balance in a very, very flexible payment plan mm -hmm. of six months or an year. The number to call is? 0705525252. And remember that this amount that you're paying 240 is inclusive of your title deed. Mm -hmm. And uh, after completing uh, paying this amount, you just wait for one month duration to get your title deed exactly and the moment you start your payment plan you have the freedom to do whatever you want to do with the land you can plant trees you can plant crops what they grow here you can be able to plant other tomatoes exactly, nya, nya. Exactly. you can plant here mm. uh, so guys if you want to invest you can call the number on your screen to book a site visit which happens every Saturday and you can call that number on your screen 0705 5252252 uh, or you can visit our offices. Yeah, you can visit our offices at Nairobi CBD mm -hmm. RNG Plaza mm -hmm. uh, via Ronald Gala Street, mm. uh, fifth floor, room number four. Mm. You'll be able to be helped there for more inquiries. Welcome to Faraja Settlers Limited, where your property is our priority. So, hi guys, hope you have a good day. I'm going to go to the coast, Na Hiram atatuelezea zaidi of uh, how we are here. But right about now, remember to invest with Faraja Settlers Limited. Uh, we have land at Konza, Gilgil, and also Kithimani. So, and all the best in that. Uh, begin this beautiful journey with us. Exactly. Sasa? Poa sana. Uko fiti? Iko poa. Uh -huh. And I hope our viewer you are okay wherever you are. I'm yeah. uh, in Nyali, Mombasa County. And uh, as I've been telling you is that uh, we are here courtesy of JM Safaris. This place is called as Bustani Close. And uh, if you'd want uh, maybe to travel, uh, you know, across the country, uh, you can use JM Safaris. Let them organize a trip for you. And use the number on your screen so that you can be able uh, to call them and get a uh, very, very, uh, you, know, uh, you know, conducive. Uh, you know, places across the country mm -hmm. with JM Safaris. And of course, we have Hima Dot Production. If you are there and you wa you'd want to record a song, you are there, you'd want to record a music video, you are there, you'd like also to learn music, uh, musical classes and film classes, uh, you can come, you know, at Spa Mall, Nairobi, Oroiro, Kiambu County, not Nairobi. And uh, you can use the number on your screen so that we can be able uh, to... Uh, you can be able to, uh, you know, ask more questions uh, in, uh, regarding uh, the courses that we are off offering and the offers that we have in music and film recording. Uh, so, guys, uh, we have a very, very serious topic. By the way, it is very cold here. Oh, yeah. By the way, <laughs> it being Mombasa County, I'm really surprised. I've never been to Mombasa when the weather is mm, like this. Yeah, it is cold. But Kukopua. Uh, but it is good. Yeah. Because I will take a lot of tea, so it is well. <laughs> it is all right, <laughs> yeah. So, as uh, Hiram has said, today we have a very interesting topic. And um, today, and this is an open forum. You can also comment and share your opinions up with all kwa, kwa comment section. We are going to talk about something that has really affected uh, marriages based on statistics and the things we are seeing every day. So, this is marriage and mental health, yeah? Marriage and mental health. So marriage and mental health, mental health is about, as the word, as it is, eh? it's, a, it's, it's all about uh, the mind, what affects us mentally. And uh, this time around, we are going to be specific what affects um, marriage. Um, I mean, what affects the mental health of 
uh, people who are in marriage. So both men, women, uh, what affects men, what affects women, how to have a healthy state of mind, uh, because definitely it affects marriage. I don't know if you've been seeing, uh, there are these news that we always see on social media, uh, bibi ameua buwana na watoto, mine buwana ameua bibi na watoto, uh, some of the things that are happening in marriage that um, only a person who, uh, so, some of these people are depressed, stressed. You cannot do things, these things uh, in your right mind. As as ingine inafika mahali kwa stress na depression. And of course statistics show that uh, most of these people that are doing these things that they cannot do uh, in their right mind, there is uh, some stress involved, some depression involved, especially um in marriage so meaning marriage and mental health is a very very important topic to discuss especially right now in this era there's a lot happening so i would i would like us to just have this discussion and best person to discuss with is my husband so mr husband mm -hmm. <laughs> so what what do you think affects um affects the the the, the mental health of men I'll speak as a man on behalf of <laughs> others. Mm, first of all, yeah. uh, you know, marriage as a whole is a bit complex. Mm. And why I'm saying this is because it involves a lot of things. Yeah. And as a man, being the hand, head, mm -hmm. not hand, mm. being the head of the family yeah. and the provider of the family, mm. there are things that can... Uh, can push a man na jipate ya kona, you know, mental illness. Yeah. And one thing that uh, makes all men, you mm -hmm. know, to have a mental uh, breakdown is uh, something we call finances. Mm -hmm. When a man does not have money, nothing happens. Everything shut and hell yeah. break loose. Mm -hmm. Because a man... A man's ego mm. to feel as a man yeah. to feel you know a man is not even performing in the mm. bedroom mm -hmm. that is not you know what a man you know mm. you, you get na hiyo si kutambuliwa kama mwanaume many men if you if you ask all men they would rather mm have something in the pocket that's true you get yeah. so when a man does not have money and cannot mm. provide for the family maybe pay school fees for the kids mm. provide maybe meals and pay rent and uh, maybe take care of the wife then a man uh, can can you know can shut down yeah that's true yeah and this is something that has really affected many men mm. and uh, it is very unfortunate that you know some women uh, don't maybe stand in the gap. Maybe your husband has uh, lost, uh, you know, their, his job, mm. and uh, you cannot be able to stand. Even if you stand in the gap for uh, maybe for that time, mm. you can only do it for a very short time. Mm. Uh, maybe six, three months to six months, and then upate mwana uyo bibiako ameza kwenye madharau. And even if atakama hata kwenye madharau, as a man, you will never feel full. That's or complete. Yeah, mm. And I think in this era, um, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but when I when we talk about um, the modern woman, mm. although that's a different topic, mm. uh, the modern woman is empowered. Mm. Um, I think when we look at a few years back and right now, mm. because of the empowerment and women just deciding to I don't know whether it's just this era is has a different kind it's the same people. It's the same women 10 years ago, but right now, uh, the empowerment of women, I think, I don't know whether it's the opportunities that are many or mm. what exactly, but something has changed about the woman. And so, it's not sinking mm. very well when it comes to marriages because uh, one time a woman has nothing. Mm. That woman, five years later, 10 years later, is a multi-millionaire. Mm. Marriage ni ile ile. Mm. Yeah, marriage ni ile ile. So, now things are changing. Unapata... Uh, the, the, uh, the husband did not, uh, I mean, the husband was the provider, had a lot of money, uh, was financially stable than the woman. Ten years later, the woman evolves. 
anako end yako na pesa saa hii mm. so the, the man was not ready mm. for the modern woman so mm. unapata kuna pata hiyo rango mm. kwa marriage uh, the woman may be um, kuna itajingi tu ka wisdom fulani when mm. you're dealing with 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 a man especially sasenye uh, financially something has changed mm. so the, I, that this is a call to the women tunahitaji a lot of wisdom a lot, a lot and unfortunately yeah. it is not i don't think it is possible <laughs> especially when because we are even missing. if you even if you, are, you, you you have the wisdom yeah unajua pesa better it ato kupatia your husband money i hata chukua for long yeah it doesn't yeah there is it does not think well mm. yeah and that that is why i find there are so many men who stand and say mimi sasa hizi hizi your dem wenye ako na pesa nyingi kuliko because you will feel have a man one way of getting stressed and even men men who don't have money maybe they are, they lost their job uh, they have gone bankrupt but their wife have uh, you know their wives work on a mm. pesa you know even those men don't perform in uh, in the bedroom because of the stress because Joshua cannot stand still <laughs> the yeah. son cannot stand still yeah because mm-hmm. Uh, he has an issue and that is why you're finding even in the bedroom people have problems yeah but only to come and realize that the source of that imagine stress ni hapa and that one in yeah. a later mental illness that's true you now you you will see you are not performing mm. in the bedroom uh, mm. mm-hmm. you are not performing fa- financially, financially. Yeah. so what will happen you will break down mm. That's true. Mm. That's very true. Mm. And well, I think the solution is you know women we were given a very we were given a hard task. Tulambo sisi ndio tunajenga nyumba na sisi ndio tunabomoa. Si mwanamme aliambiwa. It's the woman aliambiwa. So I think um, this is a call to also the women. Tuna need kuangalia sana the way we, we deal with ni. such mm. issues in marriage. Na Mungu akumbuke wanaume. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, God bless the the men also financially mm. that they're able to uh, but sana sana hapa kwa wisdom women I think we need a lot of wisdom especially mm. when you are addressing mm. the man mm. because anaweza kuwa hana pesa lakini make them feel make him feel comfortable, make him feel wanted. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, I think that is one issue I concur and that is very true. Um I think for women mm. maybe to put aside their women kidogo mm. uh, i would say for women what affects the mental health of women is um women what really the 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 the, the main issues of women in marriage is attention affirmation and affection mm. those are the three is this is what a, a woman looks for in every marriage attention affirmation and affection so when one of it is diminishing or is totally not there it can grow to stress it can grow to low self esteem because mental health is a wide scope it can grow to mental health issues uh and this this doesn't look as big as much to a man but for a woman we are emotional beings we are affected by very very minute issues so for example i can pick like one uh let me just pick affirmation affirmation is even a compliment mm-hmm. is good it works for us unaambia mtu wako anakaa poa you know una make a feel ako beautiful but now the opposite in a shida for example you can comment on something small like a dress you know a woman has worn and you know women we are doing it because of different issues okay i'm saying this because it's the most common mm-hmm. issue you know um women can add weight because of very different issues na unapata maybe unavaa kanguo hakakutoi bila mm-hmm. kana kalikuwa kana kutoa kitambo so you wear it and you, uh, uh, your husband might comment uh, something about your your weight or something about you know your body mm-hmm. that alone will make a woman feel unwanted will, can make a woman feel unattractive and some of these things might not look if somebody else says it it is not as deep but you know a woman's first number one fan is their husband so kitu anaezaambiwa hapo nje haitatoka the same wewe mm. ukimwambia inatoka ngani kama hey i'm not beautiful hey anaona she you no longer love them imagine inanzanga hivyo and so with time a woman begins to feel uh, when it comes to affirmation she's not been affirmed by the husband 
So this woman, no wonder you find if somebody else affirms them, they will go with that one. You begin mm -hmm. to realize a woman is and not it, happy. It is, it is, it, it, you know, in men, those are very Ma minute. Minute. <laughs> <laughs> that is, it is but very it minute. Affects. Imagine una feel how takiwi na buwanako. Hey, lakini sisi wanaume wezi. Mwanaume kumuambia tiwe, me, I, I don't think a man anaiza, anaiza nini, anaiza but scare. You know you are not emotional beings. We are. Imagine iyo peke yake. Yeah. Like if somebody yeah. tells me, na hira mume nona, that I mean, one to women in a talk of the No, that is that is not how okay, a husband might you know, you have to choose a language. When you're dealing with an emotional being, first of all understand this is a woman. Number two, she's emotional. So if I tell her, eh, na umenona yonguo, hai kukali vizuri, kwani umeongeza we itaje unaka you know, wewe it might look like you're just informing her. She's but like in a to hang evo kwa manamke. And most women are, you can find a woman unhappy because she has never been affirmed. She has never been told she's beautiful. She has never been Bwanaki ajayi muonyesha ama memuambia kitu ama mfanya kitu enye inamfanya feel ni co-affirmed. A woman works. Mm -hmm. She's busy. She's taking care of the children. Mm -hmm. But when a man walks in the house ananza kumuliza kwa numejina ukifanya nini you're very lazy blah 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 and you know we know these issues. So a woman begins to feel oh Nimekuzalia watoto, hao wote. Sasa nye sasa I'm taking care of them, I'm also taking care of you. You feel like you're saying I'm not doing anything. So a woman begins to feel unappreciated. So it grows from, from one to another. And you find most women who are unhappy, unapata it is because the, the three A's are diminishing or they are not there. So unapata mwanamke, ameanza kudevelop tissues to ingine. So you find the woman begins to change and begins to go where she is being appreciated, where she's been affirmed. Others, when you know your marriage, they are unhappy and stressed. Mm. Yeah. Okay. That is a woman for you. I got to that list we know now. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. So another thing maybe we can say is about, uh, you know, toxic partners. Yeah, toxic partners. Mm. Mm. Where you find maybe your partner mm. ako toxic kabisa, mm. and uh, the Bible says as, now when I speak on behalf of men, yeah. the Bible says that um, I think I don't know to use the word nagging. A nagging mm. wife mm -hmm. is like cancer in the bones of a man. Of a man. Yeah. So if a man, mm -hmm. if a wife is a nagging wife. You know, nagging is kusumbua sana. Mm. Huh? That woman is like cancer. Cancer ni hizo inakula mm. mwili. Mm -hmm. So inakula. So that wife anakula ni kama hiyo. Anapewa example na hiyo cancer. Yeah. You see that is very sad. Now that one can cause a man to uh, to have a mental illness. Yeah. Kwa sababu every time, hata anaogopa kwa nyumbani. Kwa sababu the wife is very toxic. Mm. That's true. Toxicity is real. Mm. Toxicity is real. Akina the narcissist, narcissist. Uh, manipulative partners, mm. you know, controlling uh, without wanting to know the feelings of the other partner. Mm. So, in Anzanga, ikiwa to mumble to dogo, to nakanga to dogo, but these are things that grow, you know, into 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 big into big issues, eh? mm -hmm. and especially, of course, for the man, mm -hmm. um, a toxic partner is 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 a no go zone. Yeah, eh? because, because men love peace. Yeah, men love peace. Mm. You know, man, men loves uh, men love, of course, the respect. Now, who don't you to be to affecting people what to mentally so. You look at most uh, spouses who are, you can tell, or maybe they, they are struggling with their mental health. Inatokanga tu mahali tu nyumbani. Inatokanga tu mahali tu nyumbani. It's not very far from, very far from home. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, and as we mm. conclude, mm. Uh, people for, you know, health, marriage, mm. uh, for people to enjoy their marriages, uh, I would suggest people to 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 to, to be practicing the five languages of love uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us because more. those those languages of love mm -hmm. you them and you know you they may they, actually what they do 
they describe your partner you get to know your partner well that's true mm -hmm. because we have maybe uh, five languages of love ni kama moja maybe ya for example ya matendo kuna watu wa kutenda service services yeah for example kuna hiyo service maybe kuna hiyo ama hiyo partner hapendi anapenda kusaviwa many men maybe unapata akimserve yeah. ukimpatia tu services unamwekea kachai my husband mm. take care of them ukasema mm. kama ameenda unajua eh huyo wangu siwa wa services mm. and you will get to know your partner mm. using the five languages of love that's true yes. yeah. and of course tukimalizia what can give um, marriages a healthy healthy what what can give spouses a healthy state of mind mm -hmm. um is for example as you've said mm -hmm. uh, you know know your partner mm. give yourself time to know your partner what they love what they don't so that you don't you do not find yourself on the wrong side mm. of things eh? mm. um i think also something like this we are doing like just finding time to be we might look like yes we are here shooting content and everything but also it's helping us away from the hassles and the bustles of the city mm we are here to have fun uh, away from what we are used to the relaxation and everything find time to relax imagine mm. find time to relax even in your busy schedules and then in mahali um and then in mahali sit down get to know each other get to date and i think for us one thing i really appreciate we did when we were dating is we used to meet a lot yeah and we used to go for dates yeah we we went for dates mm. a lot mm. so by the time we decided to 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 whatever to to enter into marriage mm. napata kuna 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 vitu mingi sana nilikuwa najua zake mm. na pia mimi so we got to know each other quite um quite much it is still work in progress i'm not saying we are perfect but i'm saying i really appreciate those times that we really took to go out a lot to mm. know each other mm. so find time to to go out a lot na kukampia place kama hii what you have also done for me mm. i really appreciate because um it has also calmed my mind mm. in many ways yeah 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 so thank you guys for watching mm. uh, let us uh, continue enjoying ourselves here in uh, Mombasa mm. courtesy of JM Safaris and of course uh, you can uh, get amazing deals when it comes to you know land uh, uh, and uh, owning a property with Faraja Settlers Limited and uh, let us hear uh, the amazing deals that they have yeah so thank you guys we love you stay healthy love each other take care of each other bye bye we are right now to call uh, a place called Kidimani now this is in Machakos County and actually from Kidimani town to here mm. it is just 5 minutes drive imagine mimi okay. nimeingia tao mm -hmm. nimeingia Kidimani mm -hmm. kidogo kidogo nikashtukia nimefika <laughs> tuko kwa shamba tuko kwa shamba already <laughs> so it's a um, it's an ideal place it's mm -hmm. only it has taken us 5 minutes mm -hmm. to to get here mm -hmm. and so number one, mm -hmm. yati unafika haraka it's very accessible mm -hmm. it's just 5 minutes from where mm -hmm. we are mm -hmm. yes. exactly and uh, actually if you want to know where these plots are it is just next to chumbani primary school mm. if uh, you know chumbani primary school next it is uh, uh, you know faraja settlers uh, plot and this plot they are 50 by 100 piece of plot and if you want to own this plot you can just call the number on your screen 0705525252 and uh, they are 50 by 100 piece of plot yes. so if you want to own this plot mtu anafaa kukuwa na pesa ngapi mtu anafaa kukuwa na 300 tuko na offer mm -hmm. by the way wacha mm -hmm. niweke disclaimer eh. tuko na offer ya Kenya shillings 370 1000 only here on the offer deposit mm -hmm. uh, it is 50000 mm -hmm. payable in 6 months mm -hmm. yes and it is good uh, our viewers to know that this amount is mm. inclusive of your title deed e, hakuna malipo ingine hakuna charges zingine zinaongezeka after e, you are, yeah. uh, you have completed paying this amount yes. and remember mm. uh, that uh, after completion of uh, this amount 370000 uh, Kenya shillings cash all you have to do is wait for just one month for your title deed 
yako eh. yeah. so kwa wale maybe mnauliza ni amenities gani tunaongelelea <laughs> tumewaambia shule kwa hapo chumbani uh, school after that <laughs> we have the, the plots over here <laughs> tuko na stima ndio hii yeah, tuko na maji <laughs> immediately after the, the center the town center that is next is a market <laughs> a very big market <laughs> inaitwa kimango <laughs> kimango market <laughs> so mambo yako imeangaliwa vizuri Kabisa. na barabara nasikia dudhi <laughs> we are just next to <laughs> the road we are just next to the road <laughs> barabara iko hapo so yeah. guys you are sorted na hii offer haikai yeah. it's just one week mko karibu sana yeah.